<laughs> the pumpkin is down. Que viva Fidel, que viva Fidel, que viva Fidel y la bandera cubana. What up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Comrade Kitchen. Today's episode is called Steam and Burn. Sebab apa tau? Sebab aku tengah steam. Sebab aku beli blowtorch. <laughs> Actually, this whole um, recipe came about when I was challenged to start eating healthy. So I started steaming things and I got a bit bored. Then I thought to myself, maybe I'll just start burning it in the top to get a charry flavor, right? And you know what? It works. So today we're going to steam and burn. Let's get cooking. Socialism is love for your brother. Socialism is. Even size cubes. Next, cut up the broccoli. Put the pumpkin in the steamer for about 11 minutes. And we put in the broccoli for approximately 7 minutes. So just leave it up for a while, let it dry out. Finally, we're gonna put in the chicken. So while we're waiting for the chicken to steam, let's make some sauce. Um, first, you need some extra virgin olive oil and uh, a little bit of on one bowl. This one is um, natural salt and pepper. Let's grind a lot in there so you get some added flavor. Go nuts, just go nuts. Next, you add a bit of the Santa Domingo pimienton. I love the flavors in this, it's so intense. It comes out in places where the sun don't shine. Okay, so it's beautifully steamed and all nicely laid out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it rest a little bit and then we're gonna torch this mother down. Just a little bit will do. Baste the vegetables with a bit of olive oil mixed with salt and pepper. Flame of dude! I totally recommend getting one of these at home. It's not expensive, you can get it at any DIY shops and it is beautiful for food. There you have it. Steamed and burned. Let's eat! That nice and juicy, still warm on the inside. Nice and juicy. You got that slight bit of char. Sweet. Mm. Broccoli and fire, the best. So I hope you enjoyed that recipe. I hope you guys comment down below. Tell me what recipes you want to see. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make them for you. Other than that, see you again with more socialist recipes for friends.